Hey guys, how's it going? We are the cast of Rock of Ages. So happy to be here today at Google. We are over at the Helen Hayes Theater over at 44th Street. And uh, we're going to do a couple more songs from our show for you today. Thanks for having us. It's totally in good fun. Like, everybody just has a really, really great time. Everybody's just having a ball, having a blast. But every once in a while, I was on for one of the main parts one night. And sometimes, um, what I thought at the time was a T-shirt, <laughs> due to its size, that was thrown at me, ended up being the biggest <laughs> pair of panties that I've ever seen in my entire life. A circus tent And of I didn't know what was happening. Still warm. Still warm. Yes. Oh. Not great. Oh. So it was, um, <clears throat> so anyway, so I'm, so I pick it up. I'm what I was thinking, honestly, what I was thinking at the time, because I was just sort of like, whoa, somebody threw a t-shirt. I wonder if it says like, I love Rock of Ages. I'll just hold, what? <laughs> and then everybody was in on it kind of thing. So we get some, we get some funny stuff happening. I had a gentleman real quick, um, actually, when I was on for one of the characters, you're dancing at the end of the show, and some guy next to me is in a suit, much like this one, and it's not the costume that we have on our show. And I was like, hello. He goes, how you doing? And I see an open seat down there, and I'm realizing, that's an audience member dancing with me on my show. So there are stairs, and I'm just dancing, pushing him toward the stairs. He's like, you're doing awesome. And then he goes back down the stairs into his seat. So again, people are just having, honestly, the time of their lives, and they realize, don't forget that that's Vorboten to come on stage with us. Um, but it's kind of the most... Um, I was in a show called Les Miserables, and while that was fun, this is awesome. Uh, so it's just kind of the best time every night to do this show, I think. Aaron, you're making your Broadway debut in the show, so congratulations. Um, I mean, do you, do you feel that your, your personal story kind of reflects your character story of coming out of the small little town and coming, moving to the big city? I'm from a lot smaller town than Detroit, which is where my character is from. Uh, I don't think Detroit's all that small, though everybody did move away, right, when everything kind of crashed. Um, I'm from Bozeman, Montana, which is a really small town, um, like 40,000, not tiny. Uh, but yeah, I think in a way, I mean, Drew is a young guy who wants to um, to pursue his dream of, of being a rock star, and he moves to L.A., and he gets a job in this awesome, you know, rock bar that's famous, and, uh, you know, he's just kind of dreaming of being up on that stage. And, and I didn't, I always wanted to sing, but I, I didn't know about theater until I was like 24 um, and, and in college. So, so for me, theater came along late, and, and when I found it, I, was, I just fell in love right away. You I look did. like you're like 24 and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll keep it that way. Uh, I, have, I have two children, so I, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm older than, than 24. Uh, I didn't start that early. Uh, so, um, so, but it's but my journey is very similar in that that yeah I, I always wanted to do once I got into theater I knew that I wanted to do it at the highest level and you have to come to New York to do that because because Broadway is what we look to uh, in the theater world anyways um, and so I, I moved out from Seattle where I had been doing theater professionally and and came out here with just kind of a hope and a prayer and my wife and two little ones and uh, and four months later just after auditioning and and showing up every morning and and hitting the the pavement as we say in the business um, yeah I landed Rock of Ages as a lead on Broadway and that was kind of like wow it can happen so yeah it's been it's been great it's been a crazy journey you have super fans right you've got to have people that come to the show 
over and over and over again. Like, are there rock the equivalent of rock groupies that come to this show? Yeah, we have we have a very loyal fan base uh, who, you know, they absolutely love this show, and it's it's a pretty remarkable thing. I mean. To the point where, like, uh, most of them are friends on Facebook, and you know they follow you on Twitter, and they want to chat it up, and and it's great. I mean, uh, you know, I, some. I mean, the other shows that I've done, I, this that has never happened, and 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 this, it, it's it's really interesting. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, like there's there's this one guy. His name is Rob. He's a nice guy, and uh, he, I know every night I know he's there because there's this one section of the show that I get to. This is going up on YouTube, so be nice. I will, oh, of yeah. course. <laughs> there's nothing negative Amazing. about it, you know. Uh, and he, he, without a fail, will be the one guy in the theater to respond to this one joke, and I always know if he's there because it gives me something to play off of and uh, cuz he speaks right to me and I talk right back to him which like the audience thinks it's like this amazing spontaneous moment that happens in <laughs> like meanwhile that guy's been here 400 times and this is <laughs> so it makes me look really really good and you know and he the one day after the show he's like oh I hope you don't mind if I do I was like no man but I mean you know in a in a way he's part of the show in that sense and I and I think that there's a a really cool thing about that you know like that that they're in a way personal with us and and um, you know it, it's it's cool. Uh, are, it's also amazing how the, they'll come to new cast members opening nights. Like anytime there's a new cast member, you can get you they they, they show up. Anytime anybody time somebody's leaving the show, they'll show up and they'll like be at the stage door to wish them off. It's just, it's just wow. they're just a great group of people. You know what I mean? I think there's one girl that's uh, spent her I think what her last three or four birthdays every every birthday yeah. she's been there and she's seen the show. I'm not kidding you, 112 times. That's I'm, Literally, she puts it on. Tonight was my 112th time at Rock of Ages. It was my birthday, and but Stacy talked to me, and he threw the panties at me, and uh, it's like a <laughs> whole thing. I mean, but she and loves it. Man. That's she, like three straight months of shows. Like yeah, if you count that all the way through, that's like three straight months of eight a week shows to come see a show for five years. Is, yeah. I mean, it's it, it's impressive. We also yeah. had a lady. Um, um, at the very beginning, uh, Stacy Jacks, a character in the show, if you haven't seen it, is the big rock star of the show, and he came out and this lady asked him to sign her shoulder. And so he's like, okay. So he signed her shoulder and she came back the next day that was tattooed in her shoulder because she loved the show so much that yeah. she got the tattoo in the shoulder. Not the name Stacy Jacks, no, but no, the guy who his, plays Stacy Jacks, name who isn't even in the show It's now in her shoulder. So We sort of get tattoos. We actually have a softball team, and we're not that bad. Um, and we have fans, two-time champions. Um, but, but when you tell your dad you beat like Mary Poppins sometimes, he's not as happy about it. Like, we killed Mary Poppins. He's like, what are you calling me for? Um, but uh, we have fans that come to every softball game and will like bake cookies and stuff for us, and we give them literal softball games. Actually, yeah, yeah we play yeah, the yeah, other Broadway shows, yeah. so uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Matthew Broderick plays sometimes, and it's really an interesting thing. Um, like the newsies are there flipping around in the outfield and stuff, so <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, some apes. <laughs> some apes. But uh, but have, you have to play the game in character. We, that would be awesome. But our fans in costume. <laughs> it's, and we used to have people do choreography for us in the front row. So uh, sometimes, again, as different characters, you might mess up a little bit, and they'd be doing it right. And so you'd watch them in the front row doing the choreography because they adore this show because of what Tony said. The joy is just insanely infectious when you come see the show.